Hi, I'm Rebecca J. Venton. Welcome to my Knit and Crochet channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a ponytail slide. Alright, and the supplies you're going to need are an F hook, yarn that is a four worsted medium, and you can tell that by right here. It'll say four medium on the sleeve. Your yarn needle and a 3 16th round dowel, wooden dowel, that's for the slide. A pencil sharpener to sharpen the edge and then sandpaper or you can use a nail file to round the end so it's not a sharp point. And then you can either leave it plain or you can just color it with um, paint or a stain and that's totally up to you and you can use any color of yarn that you want for this project all right and it's gonna be the stick itself when after sanding and all is said and done will be about five inches when this is taken out and laid flat it'll be two and a half inches high by three and a half inches now if you get a if you make it and it's smaller than that, you can up one in the crochet hook. If it's a lot bigger, then you can go down. All right? Or just make your slide shorter or longer, depending on what you like. All right. Let's get this out of the way. And this is the pattern. Go ahead and take a screenshot and we can get started. <clears throat> okay, first of all, you're gonna make a magic ring. My magic ring, all I do, oops, I like a long tail that's really good for weaving in later. Okay, you twist it so the tail part is in front. All right. Now, six single crochets in the ring. Let me see, what do I do? Nope, sorry. You want the tail part in back. <laughs> okay, when you, when you do that. All right, so you chain the one to get it started. Now do the six. And when you crochet, go over the this part too, the tail. So I got three, four, five, six. All right, pull. Don't clip anything because you're gonna want to weave this in later to secure. Okay, join to the first single crochet. Okay. Two chain one, two single crochets around. So that'd be two in each stitch. There's one, two, and the next one, two. All right, I'll meet you at the end. All right, I got to the end, I joined. Now I'm count each stitch, make sure that you have 12 before proceeding. Okay, round three, you're gonna chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochets in the following stitch. And you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around, and you'll end up with 18 single crochets. So single crochet in the first one, and then the next stitch you're gonna do two. All right, now repeat that pattern around, and then I want you to join and then restart the video. You can go ahead and pause. All right, round four, chain one. You're gonna single crochet twice. So here's the first one and then in the next stitch do another one. Two single crochets. And so that's in the same stitch. One two, single crochet twice. 
So that isn't in the same stitch. So there's one in that stitch and then the next one is another single crochet. Now to make the hole for the stick, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the next stitch. So all in the stitches we're going to be doing this. So here's the first double, second double, the chain two, and still in the same stitch, the next double, and the last double. All right, and then what you're going to do is in the next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets, and you're going to do that twice. And it'll look like this single, next stitch, single, next stitch, two of them in the same stitch, next stitch, single, next stitch, single, next stitch, two in that same stitch. All right. Now, oh, we're not here yet, almost there. Single crochet twice. So in that next stitch, you single crochet, and then in the next, you're going to single crochet. Now we're going to move to this side of where the hole is. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochet in next stitch. All this is going to happen in this stitch. So first double, second double, chain two, we're still in the same stitch, next double, and the last double. Okay? Single crochet twice. So in the next stitch you single, next stitch you single. Okay? And then in the last stitch you're going to do two single crochets. And then another single in that same stitch. Join. And that's what that looks like. And you'll have 28 all the way around. Okay, so for the last one, I want you to chain one. And we're going to be working a single crochet backwards. And that's called a crab stitch. So in each stitch around, working instead of from right to left, we're going to be working left to right. You're going to do a single crochet. And then in each chain two spot, you're going to do... Um, a single or two single crochet wait <laughs> yeah two single crochets in each chain two space ah. okay so this is how you do this there's the join so skip that one go in and it's all right and there's the ne next single crochet and it actually makes a really nice edging And this is also good for around blankets or anything you want. Plus, it also doesn't give too easily. So, I wouldn't recommend it at the ends of hats because it does make it tight. Okay, and here's the chain two spot. So, do two of those. Remember, always working clockwise. Let me pull that out. Okay, get that other one in there. So work all the way around. All right, and I will meet you at the end. All right, I'm at the end. You're going to join. Just chain one there. Give yourself quite a bit of length because you want to weave this in. Get your yarn needle. It's because it has a good eye on it, and so the yarn will fit in nicely. And then I turn it around and now weave. Weave in the ends. Go back and forth quite a few times, and you won't even be able to see it. And then with the magic ring, make sure you weave it in really good, because if you clip it too close without weaving it in, it'll come undone, and you don't want that. All right, so once you get that all done, you're going to take your dowel, cut it 
you know, with a regular knife. It's pretty soft wood. Uh, put in the pencil sharpener, like, and then take your um, sandpaper or nail file or um, emery board and just file down the end so it's not sharp. Stain it, keep it plain. And then in these chain two slots, you're gonna just put it through. And this is a good way to get rid of all your extra yarn, little statues uh, that you have. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video.